Welcome to session two of Talking Trash with Jess. I'm Jess Sadeo, the recycling coordinator for Spartanburg County, and I'm going to talk to you this month about Christmas waste. Over the holiday season, we have a lot of packages, boxes, and bags, to quote the Grinch. So we see more traffic, we see more materials coming into the collection centers. Both the trash and the recycling increase about 25% this time of year. We find it very important to put forth the message that residents should try to recycle their materials as much as possible. If you want to make a significant impact, looking at the waste that you generate, the type of waste that you generate, and trying to find ways that you can reduce that waste as well as recycle it before you consider it to be trash, that's really the best strategy. When you're looking at your waste over the holidays, you're getting a lot of packages of things that you're ordering online. You're going to the shops, you're getting stuff in bags. It's all coming into your house and you're trying to figure out, can I recycle that? Can I do something with that? So what I'd like to stress is that if it's in a cardboard box, you definitely can recycle that cardboard box. We do ask that you flatten the cardboard boxes as much as you possibly can. That's mostly to ensure that there's no styrofoam, styrofoam peanuts, um, bubble wrap, any kind of packaging materials on the inside. We really just want that cardboard. It's okay if your cardboard box has stickers or tape or some kind of labeling on it. We can still accept that for recycling. We cannot accept styrofoam whatsoever for recycling. It's really not a marketable commodity. So if you get styrofoam, please throw it away. Try to avoid it as much as possible, but we know that you can't determine who ships what in what kind of packaging material, so you can just throw that away. Don't try to recycle it. If you get something with bubble wrap or um, the air packaging, you can actually recycle this outside of the grocery stores. If you go to Target, Ingles, Food Lion, any place that has a plastic bag recycling collection box outside the lobby of the grocery store, you cannot put them in your Spartanburg County recycling bins or in your city of Spartanburg collection bin. If you get a plastic bag like this, um, some kind of shopping bag, grocery bag, things like that, same thing, go back to the grocery store, put it in that collection box, reuse the bag if you can, that's fine. But we of course prefer that you know, you ask for a paper bag if that's possible. Paper bags we can accept for recycling in our mixed paper collection. Um, paper bags are also really sturdy and can be reused. You can, if you get this shopping bag, if you go to, you know, a shop and they put your items in this, you can actually reuse this as, you know, to gift something else to somebody else. So reuse and then recycle after that. As you're wrapping, a lot of times you wonder, can I, can I recycle this wrapping paper? If it's plain wrapping paper, we can accept that for recycling. The only kind of wrapping paper that we cannot collect is anything that is foil, cellophane, or significantly embossed with metallics. We don't want any kind of wrapping paper like that, but very plain wrapping paper that's not, um, not shiny, not metallic, we can accept that for recycling. We can also take all kinds of tissue paper for recycling. So if you have a gift bag and you wanna put your tissue paper in it, we can accept that tissue paper for recycling. We can accept most plain gift bags. The kind that we don't want, if it has a lot of glitter, a lot of shiny metallic, same thing with that wrapping paper. Anything shiny, metallic, glittery, we can't take that. All you have to do when you're trying to recycle a gift bag is cut off that ribbon. We don't really want that in the process, but we can take the bag because it really is just shiny paper. No ribbons. We can't take any kind of ribbons. We can't take any bows. If there's a name tag, a sticker, a name tag like that, we can take that. That's fine because in the recycling process, the adhesive is dissolved. Back to boxes. We can accept boxes for recycling, just like this. You see a lot of these over the holidays. A lot of times they do have print on them, but we can take those for recycling, even if there's tape on them. It's totally fine to put that in your recycling bin. What we cannot take for recycling, we can't take any kind of plastic decorations. A lot of times people think it's plastic, so we can just put it right in the bin. This guy right here, is plastic, but he is not a recyclable plastic. He is a decoration and you can reuse this, you can give it away to somebody, or you can throw it away with your regular household garbage, but we cannot accept that for recycling. A lot of times people ask us, can we accept Christmas trees for recycling? And the answer is yes. At all Spartanburg County Recycling Centers, all the way up until the end of January, we will be accepting real Christmas trees. You can drop them off at all collection centers and we will bring them back here to the Welford Landfill to be recycled into mulch 
mulch. All mulch at the Wilford Landfill is available to Spartanburg County residents free of charge. You must load it yourself, but we do have it available for you. Your Christmas trees that you recycle through the Spartanburg County Recycling Centers are ground up into mulch and available for residents for pickup year round. If you have an artificial tree that you would like to recycle, as long as the pole and the branches are made out of metal, we can accept that at um, all of our collection centers that accept scrap metal for recycling. Those collection centers are going to be our Cowpens Recycling Center, our Hobbiesville Recycling Center, our Innery Recycling Center, Stone Station, and the Welford Landfill. Any Christmas tree that you want to recycle with Spartanburg County needs to be free of ornaments, free of tinsel, free of garland, um, free of Christmas lights. We cannot accept trees, um, artificial or real trees, that have any kind of ornaments, lights, tinsel, garnishes left on them. We do accept Christmas lights for recycling. We encourage residents, if they are changing out their Christmas lights, to look into LED lights, which are much more eco-friendly. But if you um, are just trying to replace your traditional string lights, we can accept those for recycling at all collection centers that accept scrap metal. All Spartanburg County Recycling Centers and the Welford Landfill will be closed on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We ask that everyone be patient with one another and be patient with our staff as we do see an increased volume of traffic and an increased volume of material. We hope that everyone has a very happy holiday season and stays safe. Music